Well, welcome to this event that we do every year. I'm sure you have read from uh, the advertisement what we're doing tonight. Each year, we do a session where we use the Galactic Roots cards and we take a look at the energy that we're going to be processing as a planet on the mass consciousness level. So the format will be that I will um, pick the cards and lay them out on my desk in front of me here. So I haven't done that before the session. I like to do it live. So it will be a surprise for me as much as it is for you. Then I will channel the consciousness called Germaine. And he is the creator of the cards, so he is going to then do a uh, interpretation of what we have to look forward to, so to speak, as a mass consciousness this year. And then there will be, when he's finished with that, there will be a time for questions from you. So I will really encourage you to um, pay attention to any questions that might arise in you when Jermaine is giving the information, maybe about the energies uh, for the year or maybe even more specific than that, and then uh, go ahead and ask your question. And um, if you have audio, uh, it's best if Jermaine can hear your voice asking the question. Because he may want to dialogue with you. But if you don't have audio working, then as a last resort, you can use the chat and one of the staff will read it. And then the final part of the session will be some type of, it's always going to be different every year. So it's some type of guided meditation and energy transmission that is connected to what Jermaine has talked about today. So that will be the format. And I will ask um, SJ uh, Hidesan if you do you have any announcements you want to make about format or anything like that. はい。uh, I have just one request. Uh, please try, uh, please refrain from uh, sending private chat messages to Lisa or the translator. Thank you. Yeah, I especially will not see them with my eyes closed channeling. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Sayaka, my, the other half of my brain needs to concentrate on her interpretation. Okay, so I am going to, I have the Japanese version of the cards here, um, and I am going to shuffle them right now. When I used to do this session in Tokyo, you could actually see me 
pick the cards. So uh, I'm going to ask you to trust me that I am picking them randomly right now. <laughs> まあ、東京でやったときは、直に私が生でカードを引いているのを見ていただきましたが、ここでは信じてください。今回も私自身が今、ライブでカードを引いています。So it's going to be a little bit of a process while I, I pick the cards and then I have to pick a second set that I can put on a board for you. Oh, so you can see them. Sorry about that. まずは、えー、こちらのカードを引いていって、そして今度は2つ目のカードセットを使って、えーですね、あのそれをボードに、後ろのホワイトボードに、えー、貼っていきますので、少しお待ちください。And then I will、uh, go into the channeling state and begin the channeling. その後、チャネルの状態に入って、チャネリングを開始します。For those of you who are familiar a little bit with the card system, I am using the standard seven card、uh, Galactic Heritage reading spread. カードをご存知の方のために言いますが、今は通常の七枚引きをやっています。銀貨の系譜を見る七枚引きですね。通常はそのために使うセットです。Okay, I've laid them out. Now I'm going to turn them over. では今並べましたのでひっくり返していきます。Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> とても面白いです。Okay. So、uh, I'm going to show them to you. One at a time right now,、uh, because I can't do this when I'm in trance. トランス状態に入ったらできませんが、できませんので、今、1枚ずつお見せしていきます。And then I'm going to put, put it on the board here. あすいません、同じデッキでしたね。引いたカードを後ろのホワイトボードに貼っていきます。So、I know you probably can't see the board well, but if you can, it will help you follow along. えー、ボードはあまり見えないと思いますが、もし見えたら、えー、ついてきやすいかと思います。And if you have your own set of cards,、uh, please feel free to follow along by picking the, the cards and put, putting them in front of you.、えー、ご自分でギャラクティックルーツカードを持っていらっしゃる方は、ぜひ同じカードを引いて、えー、自分の前に並べてください。えー、そうしたらわかりやすいと思います。So first we have an Orion card. えー、まずはオリオンのカードです。Leap of faith. 信頼して飛び込む。Number 57. 57番のカードです。Next, we have a card that's quite unusual. It doesn't come up that often. 次はかなり珍しいカード、あまり出てこないカードです。It's a non-humanoid card, alienness. 非人間型のカード、違和感と書いてあります。And that's number 27. 27番。エイリアンと訳してもいいですね。エイリアン性、違和感。Then we have a Lyra card. 次はことざのカードです。Pushing the envelope.17、えー、番、自分を追い込む。Um, Sayaka, I'm curious how you retranslated this.、Uh, um, just pushing yourself. Pushing yourself, okay.、Yeah. 自分を追い込む、えー。この英語のことわざ的言い方で、封筒を押すと、えー、書いてありますが、これは。自分を追い込むという意味です。From the second edition of the card,、um, Sayaka changed the interpretation、うん、to make it clearer. はい、えー。第2版では少し翻訳が、えー、変わっていますが。And next we have an Esasani card. 
次はエサセミのカードです。アルケミえー、錬金術。アルケミ。ナンバー105。102番。おっ、sorry。102なん<笑>番ですね。I was I looking... said 102. Oh, good. <laughs> It's backwards in, the, in my camera, so I couldn't read it. 英語では105番と呼んでしまったようですが、102番です。Okay, next we have another Orion card. 次、またオリオンのカードです。Light of awareness.、えー、意識の光。This one is 105. 105. こちらが105番です。And then we have Vega card. 次はベガのカードです。Freedom. 自由。And finally, last card. Another Orion card. こちらもオリオンのカードです。Force of Attraction. はい、えー、106番ですね。宇宙の流れ。Number 106. 106番。I know that hearing there's a lot of Orion cards in, in the reading this year might Make you a little bit nervous. 今年はオリオンのカードが多いということで、少し不安な気持ちになる人もいるかもしれません。But as Jermaine will talk about, you'll see that actually、um, most of the cards are third era or future. So it's, it's different than the earlier era, era cards, and he'll explain that. でも後でジャーメンも解説すると思いますが、今回引いたほとんどのカードが未来のカード、あるいは第3期のカードなので、意味合いがだいぶ違ってくると思います。Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go into the channeling state. はい、では早速チャネルの状態に入りますので、お待ちください。Greetings to you. This is Jermaine. It is a pleasure and an honor to be with you this day. We are so very excited to work with you to help you to see the energy trends for this year. And before we go into the details, we want to、uh, just say something about an overview. These cards are a really good sign. In the last three years since your pandemic, or shall we say, yes, 2020, 2021, and 2022, there's been a A trend in the cards, let's say. And 
トレンドがありました。And that trend has had to do with a lot of very deep, the deepest really, wounds coming to the surface to be healed and released. どんな傾向かといったら、最も深い傷が癒しを求めて浮上してきた、そういったカードが出てました。And in the past few、uh, channelings we've done with the cards each year, it has perhaps seemed like you were never going to break through. So, in the past few years, we've done a lot of channelings with the cards each year, and it has seemed like you were But the energy that is showing in the cards for this year is showing a breakthrough for your mass consciousness. でも今年のカードを見ていくと、人類の集合意識がある種のブレイクスルーを突破口を開いてきたと感じます。And the best way to describe this is perhaps to give you an analogy. このためには一つの例えを使って説明します。The last three years has been kind of like running a marathon. But not just any marathon, a marathon that has extraordinary challenges within it. And within yourselves, there has been this sense of. Really needing to push yourself through it. ななな And it, for a lot of people in the last three years, it hasn't necessarily been a time of peace, even with lockdowns. It's been more of a time of deep inner work and feeling like you have to do whatever you can to get through it. そしてここ3年間、ロックダウンがあったにもかかわらず、ほとんどの人が心の平和を感じず、逆に深いインナーワークをしながら、何が何でもそれをここを突破しなきゃという気持ちに駆られてきました。So imagine then, if you're running this marathon, that you finally come to the finish line. しかし、マラソンをやってて、ついにゴールに到達したとします。You pass the finish line and Again, this is an analogy, but you pass the finish line and you've broken a record. And this means for you that you've surpassed the limitations you believed about yourself. So it's kind of like being reborn in some ways. 自分,の自分で設けた制約を超えて、えー、まるで生まれ変わったような感覚がしているはずです。So you have to, in a sense, go into this new reality with a new belief system about yourself. あなたは自分に関する新しい信念を持って、この新しいリアリティに入っていく必要があります。And all the old belief systems you use to cope with reality don't work anymore. 現実を生きるために使っていたいろんな古い信念体系はもう聞きません。So what that means then is that you're going into this new reality feeling like you may not know the direction to take. つまりどの方向に行って行っていいかわからないまま新しい現実に入っていくということです。It's quite、uh, ironic that the We think the title for this session tonight is Roadmap for 2023. 皮肉なことにですね、えー、今回のセミナーのタイトルは2023年へのロードマップですが。We say it's ironic because whereby in third density you used to rely on very detailed roadmaps to tell you where to go, you're entering new terrain where roadmaps are not as specific. えー、な,なぜ皮肉なのかといったら、えー、第三密度では、えー、細かいロードマップや、えー、地図を使って、えー、行き先を決めていましたが、でもこの新しい領域の中では、えー、そういった、えーまあ、具体的な情報はないということです。And because they're not so specific, you have to rely on a new kind of inner compass.、えー、具体的な情報はないので
Basically, what that means is that as you are moving into a new fourth density reality, that because the old roadmap doesn't work, you are building the roadmap as you go. そして新しい第4密度の現実ではもう古いロードマップは使えないのでやりながら生きながらその場で新しいロードマップを作っていく必要があります。So because of this then it means there's a lot of new energy this year。このため今年は新しいエネルギーに満ち溢れています。In the past few years when we have done the readings there's been a lot of repeating themes. しかし、過去2年間では、リーディングをしながら、繰り返すテーマがたくさんありました。But in this case, not so、many repeating themes. ここでは、今回はリピートしているテーマはあまりありません。But we're going to start with the one piece of remaining theme that's remaining. しかし、たった一つ繰り返しているテーマがあります。まずはそこから見ていきましょう。So we're going to start with this. Pushing the envelope or pushing yourself card. Because this has been kind of the way you've operated in reality for a really long time. You have put your attention on others, neglecting yourself. You've pushed yourself to get through one challenge and then another and then another, etc. And so, what that has created is this habit, really, of pushing yourself too far. So, when we say that this is maybe the leftover theme from previous years, What this means is it's a little bit of a warning, let's say. これは過去何年かの間から、前何年か前から残っているテーマだと言いましたが、これは一つの警告です。It's a warning that you cannot operate that way anymore. どんな警告か、もうこのようには、このような形では生きられないという警告。So, what will benefit you is to look within your life. And in your habits to where you are still pushing yourself unnecessarily. Those are the places to give attention right now. What can you do to, To begin to, in a sense, deprogram yourself from that pattern. If we are to give you a homework assignment for the year, that is one of them. So please take note of that and it will benefit you so greatly if you notice. That when you start getting into that mode, that it becomes necessary for you to take a step back and to start letting go of that pattern. Okay, so imagine then that you. Begin to let go of this pattern. But it was so familiar for so long. So there you are in a new landscape. Not knowing how to navigate in this landscape. So how do you navigate? じゃあどうやってそこを進んでいくんでしょう That leads us to the next card. 次のそこから次のカードに移ります。The Orion card, Leap of Faith. オリオンのカード、信頼して飛び込むというカードです。This, in terms of galactic history, is something your Orion ancestors had to learn. 銀河の歴史を見ると、皆さんのオリオンの祖先は
この学びがこのことを学んでいく必要がありました。Because they were really good at controlling things. でオリオン人は物事を管理、コントロールするのが非常に得意だったからです。But when their shift from third and fourth density began happening, they realized they, that trying to control things wasn't working anymore. しかし、オリオン人は第三から第四密度への移行が始まったとき、えー、もう物事がコントロールできないことに気づきました。And they had to find a new way. 新しい方法を探っていく必要がありました。So for them, they deliberately tried as much as possible taking leaps of faith into the unknown. そこで彼らは意図的に未知の世界に信頼して飛び込むことを練習していきました。Remember, the Orions were very polarized. オリオン人は非常に両極化された、分極化された文明です。So when they made choices, it was usually one pole or its opposite. ですから極端だったんですね。こっちの極化、あるいは真逆の極化、どっちかしかないと思っていました。So instead of seeking control, they flipped it to Letting go of control as much as they could. So, this energy is coming up for your mass consciousness too. Any civilization that's making its transition from third to fourth density goes through this process of having to learn to let go of control. 第三密度から第四密度に移行するどんな文明もコントロールを手放すということを学ぶ必要があります。In third density, you fooled yourself that you could control reality, but truly, reality is uncontrollable. 第三密度では皆さんは現実をコントロールできるという錯覚に陥っていましたが、実際は現実はコントロールできません。So here is another homework for you for this year. ということで、今年2つ目の宿題を出します。So、the first one was not pushing yourself enough, but so much. 1つ目は、えー、自分はあまり追い込まないことでしたね。This one is to follow the flow and the trust into the unknown as much as possible.2、えー、つ目の宿題は、えー、なるべく流れに乗りながら、えー、信頼しながら未知の領域に入っていってください。You may not believe us, but at some point, this actually becomes, it begins to feel comfortable. And the idea of trying to control and plan really rigidly, like you used to, starts to be more uncomfortable. そしてこれまでのようにかっちりと物事をコントロールし、プランしていくっていう方が居心地悪くなっていきます。Okay, so that's your second homework assignment. これが2つ目の宿題です。And you're going to find that this one is going to be very, very valuable because it is definitely going to teach you how to navigate in that new landscape. こちらの宿題は非常に役立つものとなるでしょう。なぜなら新しい景色の中で舵取りしていく方法を教えてくれるからです。Now, we did mention that, or Lisa mentioned earlier, that there's a lot of energy of Orion in the, in, in the mass consciousness this year. And it's not the kind of Orion energy you would expect or fear. しし It's actually sourced. From their second and third era, and we'll explain what we mean by that for those of you that don't know. We, we look at each civilization as expressing itself within three different eras. First era, which is listed as past on the cards, is the era when the civilization is a young species. That's when the wounds are formed. So, in the case of Orion, there's some very, very deep wounds there. オリオンの場合は、オリオン文明は非常に深い傷を
、えー、第一期に作り出しました。Second era is when the healing process, because the civilization is maturing, the healing process begins to heal those wounds. えー、まあ第二期は文明がより成長して、えー、成熟期に入った時期で、えー、この時癒しが起きます。And also the awakening process begins. えー、傷が癒され、覚醒が始まります。And then third era, which is,、uh, second era is listed as present on the cards.、えー、第二期は、えー、カードでは現在と記されています。Third era then is the maturation of the species. そして第3期は文明が完全に成熟してきった時のカードです。It's when they have experienced their awakening. 熟成期ですね。そしてその文明が覚醒した時期のことです。And in general, that can be when the civilization is in the last phases of physicality and moving into non-physicality as a species. 通常第3期に入った文明は肉体をななな so, this leap of faith card is second era. And it is one of the main energies that is really working with you this year, which means that as you on Earth are also entering your second era. That the Orion energy is helping to influence you in the area of trusting the unknown. これはですね、まあ、この信頼して飛び込むのカードは、えー、今年の主な、えー、地球のエネルギーの一つですが、えー、地球も第二期に入りかけている今、えー、オリオンのこのエネルギーが、えー、皆さんが未知の世界に飛び込むのを助けてくれています。So we'll talk about the other Orion cards momentarily. 他のオリオンのカードについてはこの後説明しますが。But first, we're going to look at this non humanoid card. And the reason this card,、uh, well, and the theme is alienness. And the reason this card has come up is because of the theme alienness. Whenever a civilization transitions from third to fourth density, in the way we have described it, when you start to go into a landscape that is very unfamiliar, everything feels very alien. これは文明が第三から第四期に移行するときにいつも起きることですが、全く見知らぬ景色の中に入っていきます。すると、その中で違和感を感じます。In a sense, you feel like an alien to yourself. You can't recognize yourself in the same way anymore because you're not carrying the same destructive patterns that you carried in the third density reality. So, maybe some of you have already been feeling this. That, that things feel weird. Maybe you feel weird and different and you can't put your finger on it. Maybe you don't recognize yourself in the same way that you were used to who you were in the past. もう自分が知っていた前の自分とは違う気がする。So that's why the alienness card came up because it's acknowledging that you might feel disoriented like this. 違和感のカードが出てきたのはこのためです。何か違うという感じがしてるかもしれません。And it's normal to do so. でもそう感じるのは当たり前のことです。So, if any of you have been having this experience, the recommendation is as best as you can to try to, be, to, try to love and accept this strangeness. もしこの違和感をすでに感じている人がいたら、ぜひこの変な気分を愛して受け入れてください。And that is really going to help you. Gain comfort as you move on this new strange landscape. 
。えすると、この新しい見知らぬ風景の中を進んでいくときにえ、少しは楽な気持ちになれるはずです。Okay, so now we're going to go to the other Orion cards. えでは、次のえオリオンカードを見ていきます。We could talk a lot about this because it has to do with the, the, the healing and awakening of the Orion civilization. But we're going to try to condense it because we don't have a lot of time for that today. So we mentioned that. The Orion civilization, the way they manifested their journey in physicality was through very, very deep polarity. And in some ways, then, their healing process was as dramatic as their first era、um, young experience. 彼らは文明の第一期、まだ若い時に非常にドラマチックな出来事が起きていましたが、彼らオリオン人の癒しもある意味同じようにドラマチックでした。So、we're going to look at this card, Force of Attraction. この宇宙の流れというカードを見ていきましょう。You can see down here it says future, so it's referring to a third era time period. 下に未来と書いてありますこので、これはオリオンの第三期を意味します。Let us describe what we mean by force of attraction. When you are a third density species, in, in your most fragmented polarized state, to simplify, you Fragment outward. An example of that is emotional body, mental body, spiritual body seem very separate. But as you shift into fourth density, Those parts of you no longer move outward, but they start to move inward. しし、えーバラバラえーえー yes, it's an integration process.、えー、so, the theme of this card, when we say force, force of attraction, this is what we're talking about.、まあ、we're talking about how. The energy makes a dramatic shift. The shift is from moving outward to moving inward. You become like a magnet for your parts. And it facilitates. A rapid awakening process. Of course, right now, humanity is not in a third era experience yet.、ね、you are entering your second era experience. But because all time is really simultaneous, Aspects of third era consciousness is influencing you and helping you begin to shift from, from your parts moving outward to your parts moving inward. しかし、すべての時代、時,代時間は同時に起きてます。えですから、皆さんの第三期の意識がえ今、皆さんに影響して助けているわけですね。皆さんが外側に向かう意識からえ内側にえーまえー、向かうようにと。So the Orion consciousness then, second era and third era, are really going to be busy this year in assisting humanity with this journey.、えー、ですから、えー、今年は、えー、オリオンの、えー、第二期と第三期のエナジーが、えー、人類がそれができるように、えー、影響し、アシスト、えー、支援してくれます
Okay, so let's imagine this idea then that as the parts start to move inward, what happens? At some point, as the parts move inward, they're no longer separate parts. So if you think of the idea of water droplets, for example, when they come together, they form bigger and bigger drops. Therefore, if your parts that were previous se previously separate are called back home within you, they begin to create one energy force. And when that energy force becomes strong enough, there is a type of ignition. An igniting of consciousness. So that is what is representative of this third Orion card in this reading. Light of awareness. And it's third era, future. Therefore, what we're saying is that when these parts are allowed to come back home and they begin integrating together, when enough of that energy has integrated, there is an ignition or an awakening of consciousness. So if we are to look at the progression of evolution for the human species, you as a civilization have, have made a very significant transition. You are no longer on the journey of separating outward. You've begun the change of now moving inward. And we know some of you out there are thinking, well, how long does that take? We're so sorry to say galactic time is very long. So this process of inner integration is the theme, let's say, for your journey into your second era as a species, your healing and awakening era. But we say it's a significant turn because you've now become the idea of like a snowball rolling down a hill. The force now propels the snowball, so you, it's a force that you really can't stop or change. And it's a force of integration. Okay, so now we're going to look at the Esasani card. And it's the card of alchemy. This is really connected to what we have just been talking about. Alchemy is the bringing together of energies that were previously polar opposites. So that they no longer repel each other or separate, but they seek each other out and integrate. And that 
integration creates an alchemy or a literal change in consciousness. これによって統合が起きて、アルケミつまり錬金術的変容が起きます。これは文字通り意識の変容です。The Asasani species is very well known for this type of, of energy. エササニ人は、このエネルギーはまさにエササニ人特有のエネルギーです。Their energy is very alchemical. エササニ人は、錬金術的なエネルギーを持っているということです。And when they interact with you or any other polarized species, they can help to trigger that shift into inner integration. 人間や他の二極された種族がエササニ人と交流すると、それをきっかけにして、内なる統合が始まります。So, this year then, in addition to the second and third era, Orion consciousness assisting you, we would also say that Esasani energy is going, Esasani consciousness is also going to, let's say, accelerate their interaction with you as well. ですから今年は、えー、オリオンの、えー、第2期、第3期のオリオンの意識が皆さんを手伝うほかに、エササニ人が。エササニ人のエネルギーや意識が、えー、これまでなく、えーまあ、加速的に、えー、皆さんと交流するようになります。As a way for you to begin to activate that integration process. エササニ人のエネルギーも加速化するということですね。えー、これも、えー、皆さんの意識の覚醒を助けるためです。So the Esasani, sorry, the、uh, Orion and the Esasani Are both really connected to the Vega lineage. オリオン人もエササニ人もどちらもベガ系の系列です。ベガ、though, would be the more ancient lineage. ベガの方が古い系統ですが。So that brings us then to the final card. ということで最後のカードを見ていきましょう。It's a Vega card with the theme of freedom. 自由というテーマのベガのカードです。And this also is a third era card. こちらも第三期のカードです。What does freedom mean? 自由とは何でしょう There are many different levels to express the idea of freedom. 自由にもいろんなレベル、いろんな段階があります。But in this context, what we are referring to is this alchemical process. Of moving from outward fragmentation to inner, inner integration creates a type of freedom which we will explain. でもここではこういう意味です。この外側に分離していた方向から内側の統合へと向かう。このアルケミーのプロセスが皆さんに自由をもたらすということです。In third density, the illusion has been. That everything happens from outside of you and causes your experience in reality. And so, in that sense, you never really feel free, you feel kind of a victim of reality. But when the energy shifts from the fragmentation outward to the integration inward, then the, one of the awakenings that happens is the understanding that you are not a victim of anything. しかし、外側にどんどん分断していった状況から方向を変えて、内側の絵の統合が始まると、まあ、そ,のまあ、その時気づくわけですね。自分は被害者ではなかったという気づきが起きます。You begin to understand the entire universe is within you. 全宇宙が自分の中にあると気づきますから。And it's difficult to describe, but you will feel it at some point or maybe glimpses of it、uh, for now. But the sense of being free from patterns and conditionings and feelings of disempowerment. しかし、えー、言葉では言い荒らしな言い荒らしにくいんですが、皆さんはいつか気づくでしょう。あるいは今後断片的に気づいていくかもしれません。えー、それは、えー、自分がすべ、えー、てのパターンから
、すべての条件から自由であっていうこと、そして自分は無力ではないっていう気持ちが出てくるでしょう。So we could really say a lot more about that, but we're going to say that suffice for now, that will suffice for now. これについてまだまだ言いたいことがありますが、今のところはここまでにしておきます。But overall, within this reading, there is no first era energy. でも全体的に言うと、今回のリーディングでは第一期のエネルギーはありません。There's no heavy wound energy for the first time in several years. 何年かぶりに初めて重たい傷のエネルギーのあるカードはありません。And that means you're moving into a new cycle. It doesn't mean there won't be challenges. But it's very, very different. And through it all, it's important to remember the metaphor we gave you about the snowball rolling down the hill. The momentum is taking you toward integration. Your choice is will you resist it or will you flow with it? So, the tension is taking you t o a The tendency might be to resist simply because resistance is familiar. But you will soon see that that resistance becomes painful. And flow be, becomes joyful. You'll prove that to yourself eventually. Okay, we have talked probably longer than we should for a QA session, but we really wanted to,、uh, so、to give you a QA session, we mean, but we really wanted to express these concepts to you, and hopefully, it was done in a way that you can understand. 予定外に長く喋ってしまいましたが、もちろん出演、質疑応答の時間を取ります。でも、しっかりこの概念を理解していただきたかったので、長く喋ってしまいました。So、we would like to invite you then, if there are any questions that come up based on what we've said,、uh, go ahead and raise your emoji hand so the staff can see you, and then unmute yourself and speak your question when you're called upon. はい、では質問がある方は、えー、ぜひ、えーまあ、絵文字の手を挙げてください。えー、そしてご自分でスタッフが、えー、スタッフが示したら、えー、ミュートを外して、えー、話してください。はい、ともこさんどうぞ。あ、こんにちは。こんにちは、ともこさん。えー、っと、今あのー、お話を聞いていて、えー。新しいサイクルに入っていくということだったんですけども、えー、その中で特に日本とか日本人の役割とか、まあ、チャレンジとか意識したこと意識した方が良いことなどがあれば教えていただきたいです。You just talked about the, that we were entering a new cycle. So,、uh, what, should, what is the role of the Japanese people or us Japanese in, this, in the new cycle? What is our role or ch any challenges if there are? Or what we should be aware of in this new, in this new cycle、ah, as Japanese? Wonderful question. Thank you.、はい、you know, very often someone's role or mission is often connected to their challenges. また役割やミッションというものはその人のチャレンジ、えー、まあ障害とも関係してたりします。So we are going to speak very plainly and clearly here so that you understand. ここはよく分かっていただけるように率直に申し上げます。In general, the Japanese, the challenges of the Japanese people have been because you do tend to push yourself a lot. 
。で、今、えー、一般的に言うと、日本人にとってのチャレンジは自分を追い込みすぎるということにありました。And what you learn as a culture is that other people are more important than you. Now we understand the idea of this. But it does express polarity. Because one of the poles is neglected. なぜなら一つの曲、一方の自分という曲を無視している、ネグレクトしているからです。And that's you personally. 自分個人をネグレクトしている。So, in the context of what we've shared then today, the challenge and the role that the Japanese people are, are, are assisting the entire planet with has to do with learning how to give up. The constant pushing of yourself. And the honoring of the self or the individual as equal to others. つまり自分や個人を他の人と同じくらい平等なものとして扱う。大切にするということです。So as you learn to honor yourself as individuals and treat yourself as individuals the same way you would treat others, then you, you help to bring an equilibrium. なので、自分、他人や他人を大事にして、他人を敬うと同じように、自分を敬って大切にする。そうすることで、ある種の均衡が取れます。And therefore, that in a sense puts that lesson into the mass consciousness of your planet so that the entire mass consciousness can benefit from that. Tomoko san, does this make sense? Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Someone else? はい、じゃあ次の方。There's no hands now. We know there's questions. There's just shy people. はい、手は上がっていませんが、えー、皆さんシャイなだけですよね。えー、確実に、えー、質問があるのは分かっています。ソアラさん,さんあこんにちは。<笑>えと私は今あの韓国でかつスピリチュアルな活動をしてるんですけれども、はい、リサさんの本は一冊読ませていただいてあんまりこのカードは持ってないのでよく知らないんですけど2日ぐらい前にこのセミナーのことを聞いてあなんか参加したいと思って参加したのですけれども。えーと今回のカードの中には過去の傷、傷に関してのカードが一切出てなかったとおっしゃったので、まあ、自分もなんかカルマとかそういう過去にとらわれたエネルギーっていうものがなんとなく軽くなっていって今年からはもうそういうものにあまり影響を受けなくなるんじゃないかなって思ったんですけれどもたくさんの人はまだそういったものに縛られていることとかがあると思うんですね。で未知のさっき、まあ、未知の世界に飛び込むっていうのが大事っていうふうにおっしゃったんですけれども、えー、とこの世界全体的において皆さんにも,もう皆さんがそういうカルマとか自分の,その、まあ、インナーチャイルドとかその過去のものっていうものは、えー、とないと思って行動してしまう意識がすごく大事なんでしょうか。それともそういうものをまた癒,し癒さなくちゃいけないっていうか癒していく方がいいっていう意識も必要なんでしょうかちょっと,、えー、と質問が曖昧かもしれないんですけど、はい、大丈夫です大丈夫でしょうか、はい um, うね、I, I am now based in、um, Korea, South, South Korea and I am spreading、uh, spiritual work there and I have read one of Lisa's books and I haven't had read the cards though and I just knew about The seminar two days ago and decided to come. And so you said that this year、uh, there were no past wound cards in the reading for this year. And in my case, too, 
I feel that I don't have to be bound by the past anymore. And I feel that the, my karma or the past uh, stuff has been, uh, it feels lighter than it used to be. And I think that I'm not going to be um, affected as much. But I think that a lot of people are still bound by this on earth. And you also talked about the leap of faith and going into a new territory. So uh, what about the rest of the world? Uh, should people not be so aware of their karma or inner child or past anymore? They don't have to deal, it, deal with it or have uh, strive to heal it anymore? Is that it? It's not quite that simple. When we do a reading such as this, where we're talking about energy trends. And even though we said that there's not a lot of wound energy this year, on the individual level, there is always the invitation to get sucked back into your wounds. So especially for people who have not been doing inner work, who have not been doing shadow work, the, it, let's say it might be harder to not get sucked into the wounds. For those of you that have been doing uh, your inner work and your shadow work, then it's easier to, let's say, plug into this energy that's more progressive and moving into the future rather than being stuck in the past. So there's two levels going on here. There's the individual level and the collective level. And when we do this reading, we're reading more on the collective level. And what this means is that if you are able and willing to have done the work that needed to be done in the past, then this energy is what is going to support you. But if there's still, on the individual level, if there's still, let's say, old wounds with individuals that, has not, that have not been processed, which of course on the planet there are, it acts kind of like an anchor. So it would be harder to move into the higher frequency without doing that inner work. So people have their own individual journeys, but they are always supported by the collective energy. But those karmic things, those wounds, are heavy, so they often become the loudest energy, let's say, if the person has not cleared it. Does this make it a little clearer? ありがとうございます。あと、あのすごくはっきりとその個人的個人の。段階とその全体的な流れっていうのがかかったんですけど、今全体的な流れとして、えっとこういうエネルギーをが流れているということは、個人もあのそういうカルマとか傷を向き合う意識さえ持てば、もっと簡単にそのカルマとかを手放したり
to, for example, release their karma um, or work on their past as long as they are aware of it. Yes. Yes. はい、その通りです。ありがとうございました。Well, we have the board here. This is showing the cards for 2022. はい、これは、ね、去年の2022年のカードです。This was the reading that we gave、uh, one year ago. 1年前のリーディングのことです。And sorry, but these are English cards, so there's no Japanese translation on these. まあ、英語のカードなので、日本語の訳は入っておりませんが。But, for example, there is a wound card here, we'll point out. 例えば、ここに、えー、傲慢さというカードがあります。これは傷のカードです。It's a Lyra card. こと座のカードです。And that card also showed up in 2020. So that was an invitation, let's say, on the collective level for people to process their own arrogance and how it plays out in their life. それがどんなふうに生活に現れるか見なさいというメッセージでもありました。In the particular、uh, way we were talking about it back then, it had to do with belief systems and believing that your way, your belief is the only right one. 当時はこの傲慢さというカードは信念体系のことでもありました。自分の信念が最も正しいという傲慢さということです。That was a wound that was playing out on the individual level, but also on the collective level too. 当時はこの傷が個々人の中でも、そして全体的な中でも、ね、現れてました。And usually when it plays out on the collective level, it's a pattern you see all over the world. 全体的なレベルが現れているということは、世界中に傲慢さのパターンが見受けられたということです。So in that case, we're very happy to say that Even though it showed up for two, year, two of the last three years, it did not show up this year. So there has been a lot of work done on it. And to circle back to The biggest hint of a wound in the reading this year is the pushing yourself or the pushing the envelope card. Because it's not just the idea of pushing yourself as being a shadow thing or a wound. これは、えーまあ、自分を追い込むっていうのは、えー、影の側面や傷であるばかりではなく。But it's why you do it. And the answer to that is different for everyone. For some people, they push themselves to get love from other people. Because they don't love themselves. You can see why that's a wound. For other people, they push themselves because they are afraid of being judged. Because they don't feel comfortable in themselves. So that is how this can still be a wound, and this is why it's important to still look at this and find out why if you're still, if you're still、uh, expressing this pattern. ですから、えーまあ、このカードも傷になり得ます。なので、えー、そこを見て、なぜ自分が、えー、自分を追い込んでいるのか、その理由を見ていくことが大事です。So that's just a little summary to try to give you an idea of how that wound energy plays out. なので、えー、この傷がどんなふうに現れるか、少しこれで説明し,た、えー、しましたね。So we'll add to your homework regarding the pushing yourself card. 自分を追い込むカードについては、もう一つ宿題を出します。And the addition to the homework is simply that if this is still your pattern, then go deeper into why you do it. Why do you push it? And if you, dig, if you dig into that, you'll eventually hit the core wound. 
最終的には一番中心にある核となる傷にたどり着きます。OK、Thank you so much for the questions。皆さんの質問に大変感謝します。And the next thing we would like to do is a little bit of a guided meditation and energy transmission. And the energies that are going to be working with you today are two energies. One is a Sasani, and the other is a third era Orion light. Energy. So this is, this is different than、uh, the past years where there's been a lot of Syrian work with you from the Syrians, but this year it's, we're, we're moving to a different level for this year. Okay, so go ahead then and If you need to adjust your position, sit in a comfortable chair or lay down, you may. しし And we'll give you a moment while we begin to bring in the energy. And actually, this guided meditation we're going to do is very, very simple. We talked about a new landscape in front of you. So allow yourself to imagine that new landscape in front of you. It might be a desert or a forest. Whatever comes to mind is fine. But it is. Really unknown because the roads are not clear. But as you stand there about to enter this new landscape, you look down at your feet. And when you look down, It is as if you are standing on a road of light. And you can't see the road so far ahead of you, but you can sense that it is in a, in a spiral shape. なんだか螺旋状になっているような気がします。That there are turns in the road and you cannot see what is beyond the next turn。螺旋状ということは、えー、道が曲線状に曲がっているということです。そして曲がった先があまり見えません。But you can sense a, fen- a friendly presence inviting you forward。しかし非常に友好的な、えー、フレンドリーな存在が。あなたは前へと誘っているのを感じます。You might even feel some electrical or warm energy in the body. 体の中がピリピリしたり、暖かく感じるかもしれません。And this is the consciousness of the Orion light and the Esasani. これがオリオンの光とエササニのエネルギーです。So we are going to help to facilitate this as kind of the bridge between them and you. 私たちは彼らと皆さんの間の仲介役となる、なりたいと思います。Simply relax and allow yourself to walk along the path in whatever way you can. You don't have to walk very far, just however is natural for you is fine. リラックスして
、えー、この道をあなたなりの方法で歩いていってください。あまり遠く行く必要はありません。えー、自然な、えー、やり方で進んでいってください。Most of the time, you won't be able to see very far ahead of you. でおそらくほとんどの間、えー、あまり遠くは見えないはずです。We're going to bring Lisa back to put some music on for you to assist this journey. で,では、えー、瞑想の助けになるように、一旦リサに戻ってきてもらって、音楽をかけてもらいます。So、relax and let yourself move as deeply as you can within your consciousness. あなたはただリラックスして、えー、なるべく自分の意識の奥深くへと入っていきましょう。And as you look down once again at your feet, もう一度自分の足を見下ろすと、standing on the road of light, あなたはまだ光の道に立っています。That light has moved into your body through your feet. その光が足元からあなたの体の中に入ってきています。And as strange as it may seem, your feet are glowing. でそして不思議な話ですが、あなたの足が光り輝いています。And during this year, if you ever feel you are lost in this new landscape, remember this moment. もし今年、この新しい風景の中で道に迷ったと思ったら、この瞬間を思い出してください。If you quiet yourself and open your heart, And metaphorically look at your feet on the road of light, you will know the steps to take on your path. Slowly bringing your attention back to your body in the physical reality now. And if the body needs to move, you can allow it to do so. And from Germain and the beings who have assisted you this day, we send you our deepest, deepest love. Germain, and so the one who has assisted you this day, we send you our deepest, deepest love. We will be watching and supporting you this year. And Lisa will be back. 戻ってきますのでお待ちください。